UPDF is the newest PDF editing software on the market, and being the productivity guru that I am, I'm curious to see if it could measure up to the current king of the space, PDF Expert. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the pros, the cons, and I'll let you know if it's actually worth your time. Hey guys, if you're new here, my name is Obada. I'm a final year medical student studying in London. On this channel, I talk about the best strategies and ways of leading a more productive and efficient life. So what is UPDF? UPDF is a new PDF editor made by this new startup company. It also acts as a file manager and can cater for all your editing needs. The app has a simple and easy to use user interface and comes with a ton of different features. So without further ado, let's get stuck in. So the first feature is that you can edit text in the PDF itself. This means you can insert text, you can delete text, or you can even modify the text size. You can also change the font to whatever suits your needs. And as well, you can also change the color with absolute ease. You can even insert images into the PDF and edit them then and there. And when I say edit, I'm talking you can resize, you can rotate, you can crop, or even export the image. Another useful feature, especially if you have large PDFs, those with like 50 or 100 pages or even more, is that you can edit several pages at once. This means you can easily insert, extract, delete, or even reorder or resize several pages at once. Now for the most important part of a PDF editor is the annotation. And let me tell you, with UPDF, it has powerful annotation capabilities. In the Windows or Mac, you can easily highlight, underline, or strike through, and you can do that to whichever color you desire. Also, you can insert a text box, you can create several different shapes, and you can insert stickers or stamps or any form of markup to your PDF. And with a bit of effort, you can create and import your own custom stickers and stamps into the PDF. Another essential feature for medical students or really any students in general is the ability to sign a PDF quickly and easily. And you can definitely do that in UPDF. You can do it on the iPhone, the iPad, the Android, Windows or Mac. Also, this is very useful for people involved in business who constantly sign contracts or forms. Another nifty feature built right into the app is a PDF scanner with OCR recognition. And this isn't any basic PDF scanner. This means you can easily and quickly scan and save images using your iPhone or iPad. And using the OCR recognition, you can convert the image into editable text that you can later edit in Word, Microsoft, or any other app. This is particularly useful for people who want to scan and edit handwritten notes or any documents on the go. Now, since not everyone uses just PDF, this app has got you covered. It's got a built-in PDF converter that can convert your PDF easily and quickly into Word, Excel, PowerPoint, XML, HTML, GIF, BIF, PDFA, JPEG, PNG, text, HTML, XML. The point is, it can convert it to many different formats. So all in all, with all these features, it has a nice intuitive design that makes everything easy to see, reach, and use. So what makes it different to other apps such as PDF Expo? Well, for starters, it doesn't hog your RAM. This allows you to open more apps at the same time without overheating or slowing down your laptop or Mac. This means your performance is unaffected and therefore increasing productivity. Another cool thing about UPDF is the all-in-one aspect. This means you have a built-in scanner, a built-in converter, a built-in PDF editor, and a built-in file manager all in one single app. This makes it really easy to use and it syncs across all your iOS devices and Android and Windows if you have that as well which means it has perfect compatibility. Now for the all important question is how much does it cost? Well, thankfully UPDF is free across all devices with the exception that in the Mac slash Windows, you can only download one and edit one PDF per day. If you want premium features, you're gonna have to fork out $30 per year if it's a rolling contract or $50 per year if it's a lifetime subscription. Now that's actually relatively cheap compared to PDF export, which you know, in the YouTube comments in my previous video about the best productivity apps for the Mac, you can check it up here or here. In this one, the biggest kind of issue that everyone had was that it's so expensive, which is true, because it costs about 70 pounds per year on a rolling contract, which is about $85. And if you want a lifetime subscription, it costs about 120 pounds, which is easily about $140 which is very expensive for students who go to university, college or school especially. So the only downside is that the iPhone or iPad apps are not as useful as I thought. You know, for a file manager, a PDF scanner, or even a converter, they're really good. But when it comes to PDF editing, they're not useful at all in my opinion. They're only good for, you know, viewing a PDF. So all in all, let's remember that this is done by a startup company. Therefore, they've got a long way to go and a lot of improvements to make. But thankfully, this means because they're a startup, they can take your feedback on board and any updates and they're more likely to be receptive and actually do something about it. Also, if you leave any features or updates that you want to see, leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to let the company know about it. So in my opinion, UPDF is an amazing app with a lot of powerful tools. And especially since it's for free, I would highly recommend that you at least download it on your iPhone, your iPad, your Android, Windows or Mac. Test it out and see if it can replace whatever you're using to currently edit PDFs. For me, with the premium features, I think undoubtedly it would replace my PDF export. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up and click on the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this 
Also be sure to check out my TikTok at Dr.Katan and if you want to check out my blog the link is in the description below. Also if you've got any suggestions for any videos or any other ideas leave them in the comments below. I'll be sure to read them otherwise I'll see you guys in the next one.